G'day, I'm Andrew Donald. I'm from Melbourne and I've been a professional musician and music teacher since I left school and I'm currently studying my Masters of Education at Victoria University. I'm 36 years old and I'm legally blind. I've been involved in martial arts and music since I was about five years old and more recently I've taken up traditional archery and that's what I'd like to talk to you today about, my journey into archery as a vision impaired person and really more broadly about how accessible archery is to really anyone. Uh, my vision impairment is called rod monochromatism. This means that I see only with my rod cells and have no cone cell function. This makes me extremely sensitive to light. I have quite low visual acuity and I'm totally colorblind. Uh, I do, however, see quite well in the dark and this has formed a major way that I've adapted archery to work for me. Uh, archery is an incredibly diverse art form. Uh, there are many different styles from all around the world and there are so many different ways to enjoy archery. Uh, it is primarily extremely fun, it is uh, extremely challenging and very personally rewarding. Uh, you can make a lot of cool stuff in archery. I make my own arrows, I fletch them and paint them. You can make your own bow strings. You can even make your own bows, which is something that I've really been looking forward to getting into. Uh, but overall, archery is an extremely technical discipline and it requires a lot of practice and that's part of the appeal for me. It's very similar to music in that way. Um, I've found that archery has been a natural extension of my experience with martial arts, but it's also surprisingly um, been an extension of my experience as a musician as well. Uh, like I said, there are many different styles of archery. I practice traditional archery with traditional bows. So this is an example of a traditional long bow. Here's a, an example of a traditional hunting recurve bow. And as you can see, there are no accessories on these bows. There are no bow sights or other attachments. As opposed to a bow like this, which is a vintage example of a bow you might see in the Olympic Games. And you can see we have a few more attachments here, including a bow sight used to aim the bow. The style of shooting that I practice is called instinctive shooting. This is a style that doesn't use a bow sight or any other visual mechanism to aim the arrow. Uh, rather, you look at what you want to hit and then you use your physical technique and your form to align your body properly so that you can send an arrow to that target. Uh, it's very much like kicking a soccer ball. Um, you can't aim a soccer ball. You simply have to look where you want it to go and then put your body in the right position to send that ball uh, where you wanted it to go. It's also strangely like um, singing and many and playing a musical instrument. Uh, if you can play the piano without looking at the keys, you're instinctively aware of where each key is. Uh, in singing, even more so, you can't see a note or a key you have to play in order to produce the note you want. Uh, so you have to trust your instincts and your many hours of practice that when you go to sing that note, it's going to come out the way you want it to. Um, another way I've found instinctive archery is uh, very linked to um, experiences as a vision impaired person is navigating a familiar space as a vision impaired person. Uh, if you navigate a familiar space uh, without using your vision as a primary sense, then you are instinctively aware of your surroundings and where you are relative to those surroundings. And that's really at the essence of instinctive archery. Essentially, you're using your sense of touch, your kinesthetic awareness to align your body relative to the target. Uh, I still need to see my target in order to hit it, but I don't need to see it that clearly. And in fact, I can shoot more accurately than I can see, um, if that makes sense. This is because well, archery is 
extremely technical and your form and technique plays such a major part in making your arrow go where you want um, that sight is really secondary to that in my opinion and especially shooting traditional archery from a bow hunting perspective the distances that we're shooting are really not that long in bow hunting you would never attempt a shot beyond 20 meters uh, in traditional bow hunting um, when we practice it's always fun to push the distance out to 30 40 50 meters but it's still very satisfying to shoot 5 10 meters and this is still quite a challenge so um, that's another way that traditional archery and instinctive shooting have worked well for me uh, as a vision impaired person there's just so many ways to participate in the art of archery uh, there's a strong competitive side to archery with many different styles of tournaments and there are often categories for blind and vision impaired people in these tournaments um, blind and vision impaired people compete in archery tournaments through the use of a tactile sight which is a sight that rests on the hand and on the feet and helps the archer align themselves properly to the target through their sense of touch and with the help of a spotter. Uh, this is just another way that blind and vision impaired people can compete in archery. Um, there are indoor tournaments and outdoor tournaments. There are 3D tournaments that mimic bow hunting. And there's of course bow hunting, which is um, an incredible way to get in touch with nature. And being in a natural environment with my bow and arrow is one of my all time favorite pastimes. Um, perhaps the most common reason people get into archery is that it's incredibly fun. It's super addictive and it's a great way to meet new people. It can be very social activity, but it can also be a tremendous uh, solitary meditative uh, pursuit as well. And I love that side of archery. Archery is also incredibly safe. Uh, by far the most dangerous part of archery is the removing of the arrow from the target uh, as opposed to shooting the bow and yeah archery is a very safe sport and as a vision impaired person practicing archery this is of course very important to me um, if you haven't thought about taking up archery uh, as a blind or vision impaired person i'd seriously uh, consider it because it's Far more accessible than you might think. There are so many different ways to involve yourself in archery and it can be incredibly um, rewarding thing to practice. So I'd love to see more blind and vision impaired people practicing archery and if you are interested in archery um, and my story more you can find me on Instagram under Nocturnal Archer. Uh, Instagram has been a tremendous platform to connect with other traditional archers from all around the world and uh, I'd have to recommend it. It's been a very positive community and if you're interested there are lots of experienced archers out there to help you get into uh, the art of archery. So yes, thanks so much for listening and I hope uh, this might have inspired you to look into archery. Take care.